Uh, hi, welcome to the program. I'm gonna make something a bit different. Uh, I'm gonna make uh, chocolate and courgette. What is nice about this cake, the, the, the courgette will absorb the sugar. Uh, when you eat that chocolate cake, you don't feel it has sugar at all. Okay, let's start cooking. You need 450 gram of caster sugar. Three hundred gram of soft butter, room temperature. Because we're using hands, we want it to be nice and soft. We don't struggle when we start mixing. A hundred gram of unsweet cocoa powder. We start mixing, just gentle slow add your eggs one by one you need five medium eggs when the butter is combined with the sugar don't worry too much about it so just one at a time This will keep moving. Just use the old trick, towel, wet towel, a little bit. Put the remainder of the eggs. And you need a hundred ml of double cream. Double cream. and 200 gram of melted chocolate. I melted already, I used microwave. I showed you uh, for my last page how to use a microwave to make it easy and quick. Oh, and the end we need a teaspoon of baking powder one teaspoon of baking powder that's, that's not full enough, I'll make sure it's full oh, not much left, I have to buy some yeah about one teaspoon, yeah give it a good mix uh, earlier I grated two courgette, medium courgette And you need the 400 gram of plain flour to go with it. And this cake is easy and simple. So if children don't eat their vegetable, just put in the chocolate for them and don't tell them. Okay, you need the rings. 10 by 10. Okay. Top it. We're going to cook it in the oven 340, 30 to 35 to 40 minutes. Gas mark 4 the same time and the cooking or the baking all depending on your oven some ovens works different than the others and do not rush take your time stick a knife if you're not sure let it be longer you know balance it okay hi uh, the chocolate and courgette um, just come from the oven here he is I left it for a couple hours to cool down the reason why I didn't want to take the rings I'm gonna make the ganache and straight away put it in the top. Make the ganache is straightforward. Put 100 ml of double cream and 200 of chocolate, dark chocolate. And this is very easy to make. Just bring it to boil. Don't use a single cream, use a double. If you use a single cream, you end up 
costing you more on the chocolate. Wait for it to bubble. Okay, let's turn up the heat more. I'm gonna put some glaze on it. I'm gonna put one teaspoon of honey to make the use the honey. If you don't have the honey, use golden syrup. Uh, it gives that extra shininess to the ganache. Okay, uh, it's starting now bubbling slowly. You can see in the middle here. A 200 gram of dark chocolate. Just mix gentle until the whole chocolate dissolves. Go on, James. Simon. What's in that noodle vermicelli? It's caramelized vermicelli and um, um, orzo. Is it like a rice pasta? Yes. Thank you. Okay. Just mix in the edge here, gentle. And take your time when you cook. My ganache. It's ready. Add one teaspoon of honey. You can see shininess start to peeling. So. I left the ring in purpose there. So I'm going to pour my ganache and I leave it to set for another hour also. Okay, this is the courgette. I let it set in the fridge for a while overnight. So I use the same technique, hot water with a knife to give you a nice smooth finishing on the outside. As I said, the courgette really nice. It, it will absorb all the sugar from the cake. Look at that. Okay, come on baby. Here we go. Here's the courgette, okay. A little bit of icing sugar on the outside. Okay, don't please, don't tell the kids this cake has courgette. You know, some kids don't eat no vegetables, just put them in chocolate for them. These are the cherries, you know, to break the color of the cake. Okay, et voila. Chocolate and kosher cake. Delicious. Thank you.